part of the BP Solutions organization supporting production operations in Trinidad. And from a subsea perspective, what we do is sort of take ownership of the projects that the projects team would provide to Trinidad and take it into the operate phase. So once the SIP is installed and the handover takes place, we would then take over and operate the facility safely to produce the hydrocarbons that we need to produce. So SIP represents the next step in support of BP's aspiration to move towards deep water. We already have two subsea facilities, Juniper and Matapa, that continue to operate. SIP is the third facility, which is going to increase our subsea footprint in region. It also allows us to develop capability, to develop that skill in operations as we set ourselves up for the future of production, which will be deep water in a few years' time. So my role as the subsea lifer field engineer would be to oversee all the testing on the onshore facility here at Tembledora. So the site receive testing and the pre-deployment testing. Part of my role is overseeing the contractors to ensure safe and reliable operations at Tembledora. With the trees here at the Tembledora facility, if we can allow folks to actually come down to the site, do walkthroughs of the trees, ask any questions they may require to ask, and this will really allow for building that capability within the region, within the subsea team. Once installed and operational, my role as the subsea hardware engineer is to ensure that the tree operates safely and reliably and monitor the condition of the tree and the components such as the choke valve, master valve, wing valve, just to ensure that the integrity of the tree is maintained. Like Juniper and Mata valve is a wet tree system, so the trees are installed subsea, unlike traditional trees that are installed on the facility. The learning that we can take SIP is very similar in design and function to the Matapal trees. With the inclusion of the SIP tree to the BP subsea infrastructure, the lessons learned from the operations of Matapal will be transferred over to the seamless operation of SIP. From here, the rig will spot the wells. The rig is the Valaris Joe Douglas Jackup rig. They will drill the wells to a certain point. Then we will suspend the wells, install the trees, one per well, and then we'll start back up the drilling phase. We will drill out the reservoir section and then complete the wells and then hand over to projects afterwards. Rig will then move to another location to continue this process another six times. My role as a well site leader, who also sits on the subsea team, I'll be one of the well site leaders offshore uh, assisting with execution. And then uh, for the last year though, I have been sitting with the operations team, the rig operations team and the subsea team to integrate all the various components that we have to run from the jackup into the operational procedures to ensure that they can be run. Working with the service providers, our central wells team, our drilling completion teams, our rig provider and all the other various global members of the team that we have to basically integrate with to make sure that we can execute this project.